All right, you have everything to one side like this. And I've got to tell you what you're going to need. Um, some open bobby pins, hair pins, what are you going to call, call them? And um, you're going to need a rubber band, small or big one. It's to go around the uh, the head that you end up basket weaving down. You'll see when I get to it. And a closed one. All right, so all my hair is to one side. And um, excuse me about that. Okay, this is a short piece, so I'll end up putting that in there. I want to take out the hair for my roll. You gauge how big you want your roll to be. Um, mine's not going to be too big, so. You see those parts? It looks nice. You couldn't see my parts the other day, but I need because it. it was time for a retightening. So, I'm going to take out this much and. I'm going to use my rubber band for something else, but for the sake of not mixing this in with the rest, I'm going to put a rubber band around this. Which I, would, I can actually use it for this too. So you put your rubber band here. And you'll use your other rubber bands for something else. Alright, so. Okay, the other day I did this on a quick. Did it quick and it turned out good. So I hope I can do it again this time. So you're taking hair from this back side and the front side and you're crossing over so you decide how much you're going to take though so i'm going to start off with this piece cross it over and then in the back take a piece so i'm just going to grab this piece in the back and you're going to cross it over that piece you can see and just keep doing that action. That's what I have. It all brought over. So it's looking so far. You have so many pieces that are too short or something like that. Just gotta get used to tucking them. Your hair does not have to be as long as mine to do this style. Uh, you just may have to rely on some pinions or something like that to help you out. I may not use pinions per se, but I will be doing some tucking if it's not reaching like I want it to reach. Okay, still crossing over. Sometimes you feel the hair you're bringing across is not thick enough to hold it. You may um, bring a smaller piece across and then bring the outer piece over. And I'm sure I just confused you all, but um, I'm sorry for that. This is how it's looking. Just keep on bringing it over. Grab it from the neck. Crossing it over this piece. Sorry, it ain't laying there. Just keep on doing it till you get to the end. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Now you get to a point where you're like, I need to make sure I'm holding this and it's not going to come down. So what I did was I took a piece and I love tying my hair in knots. It's not a knot where I can't get it out but it's a knot so that I don't have to use rubber bands. So I have these two pieces I just pulled out and I'm going to knot them so that what I have crossed over so far is not going to come loose. And I did that kind of messy because I didn't bring it evenly through. 
but you get the point. Okay. Right. So this is how it's looking so far. And this is the top, the back, which I have not seen yet. This could have been smooth right there. Let me have that fresh retightening. You can really see my parts and how I brought it up. We're gonna roll with it because I'm not gonna take it down right now. Alright, so you can still keep crossing it over and you have it stand because you already tied it with that other piece. I'm going to do another piece like that. You're probably like, what is she doing? I'm just tying it. Taking one piece from each side and tying it. Alright, now this is where the rubber band comes into play. Because I have this hair hanging here. And I really have nowhere for it to go but to be tucked some kind of way. So just take your hair and tuck it under. That's where you can. If you have shorter hair, this part will be as hard. Alright, oh. now the other day I had some hair that I used to cover that up. I don't have any today. Mm. Alright, a few pieces in the back I'm going to use to cover that up. I'm going to put this rubber in on here. And I'm going to um, tuck it under the hair. Uh -huh. So, I got to do a little bit of tucking. But this hair in the back, since it's still loose, I'm going to use that to cover the rubber in. So it can't be seen. And you won't know how the hair is staying right there. Alright, now this part, um, you can take the, leave the rubber band on there and you just roll your hair up. And once you roll it up, you pin it. Tuck, tuck. You can use rubber bands. I mean, a uh, pin too. So good. The thing I tell you is, you gotta have it. Okay. So, get to rolling. Roll it like a roller. And you can kind of see my pin right there, which I'm gonna kind of try to hide it. Use your open pins to pin it down. How you want it to lay. Okay, this up here is kind of weird. We're going to make it all right. Probably put more pins than I need, but. It is how it looks. You can make it as big or as small as you would like. And just tuck in whatever you feel is out that you don't want to be out. 
Like I still have that robe in there, so I can tuck that in there. I love tucking. <laughs> tuck and pinion. Tuck and pinion. But essentially, that is it. You can even put some pinions in here. You feel? The piece just does not want to tuck right. And it will just be pinned down. But that is the style. And I'm going to have some pictures. And um, you can even put a flower right here. I may try to get a flower and come back and do it.